Hi, I'm Jared Robinson, Physical Measurement Senior Product Specialist at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. In this video, we'll go through the startup procedure on the hydraulic power unit on the servo pulsar fatigue testing instrument. First, you need to open the control cabinet and turn on both the single and three phase breakers. Next, power on the 4830 controller. It will take a moment to initialize. Once initialization is finished, you will see a screen showing the real-time transducer values. To prevent unintended actuator movement, ensure the instrument is in displacement control mode and the relief valve is fully backed off. Now, press the Run button in the Power Control section. From here, you will be prompted to select Run 1 when the dialog box appears on the control screen. If you happen to have an additional power unit, controlling hydraulic grips or some other accessory, you can press Run 2. When you are ready to move the actuator or crosshead, return to the controls for the power unit and press Load. Another dialog box will appear. Press Load in order to open the servo valve, allowing hydraulic fluid to flow into the frame. Lastly, tighten the relief valve, setting an appropriate pressure for the capacity and speed conditions that you intend to test. You can use this formula to determine the right pressure. You are now ready to use your Shimazu servo pulser. For more information on Shimazu material testing instruments, visit www.shimazumaterialscience.com. Excellence in science, Shimazu.